Welcome back to the channel. I have got a pair today that fits in exactly with what I tend to do on this channel. You know I'm a big fan of Air Maxes and this video is no different. So recently, as you'll know from my channel, I picked up the Air Max 97 muslin, which is almost kind of like in a hemp uh, material. And then I picked up the Air Max 1 crepe hemps, which I've got behind me both pairs. And the kind of third pair came out recently, which is the Air Max 90. They're being called the hemp and I have them right here. And that's what I want to have a look at today. I think this pair is probably the best Air Max 90 of the year and I'm really glad I was able to scoop these up. So sit down with me for the next few minutes while I give you all the details that you need to know about this pair. And then I'll throw them on for you so you can see what they look like when they're on foot. So I want to run through a few details with this pair. Really, really nice, long story short. I'm gonna get straight into this, give you some of the details that I think you'll appreciate in terms of how they're different to other Air Max 90s and some of the hemp pack that have gone before. So first thing to really note about this trainer is each kind of pair from the hemp pack is slightly different, but they do have sort of unifying features. One of those is the fact that they have this gum sole. Then they also have this contrast between having a sort of hemp material on the toe box with a darker brown. You can see that there with the Air Max 97s and also the Crepe Hemp Air Max 1s. The Air Max 1s and this pair have this really nice um, blue, kind of light blue swoosh and that is also in the bubble on both pairs as well and you also get a hit of that on the back of the trainer. It's this contrast between blue and brown that I think is really nice. On the Air Max 97s, it's a contrast between a dark brown and a pink. So everywhere these are blue, that pair of 97s is pink. But I think they're kind of a unified pack, really, because they have those features in common. Um, so yeah, some other nice features that I think you would like to know about this pair. Black on the rear tab with light blue. You have that black through the eye stay and then also around the air unit there. Also have this light blue color, as I said before. Then you have this hemp material on the toe box and it kind of runs round much of the mid portion of the trainer. So my only worry with that as a terms of a trainer is I had a pair of the Sage Air Max 90s. I think they were called Sage. They had a clip down the front and um, I did a review on them. I only sold them two weeks ago and part of the reason is I, I just fell out of love with the colorway and I've got a lot of pairs of Air Max 90s and I just went in the gym and I was like, you know what, I need to get rid of them. And um, that's something I'll talk about for another video, but I, I'm always, as much as you see me buying trainers, I'm also selling trainers as well. I try and have the same amount in my collection, but on the toe box, it was also a kind of woven material and that creased not in the best way. And I think that might happen to these trainers. So something I'm conscious of and I'll try in my best to look after them. But they are trainers, they are to be worn. So I have to expect that to a degree. Another feature that you might not really have seen or recognize is the color. There's a lot of green on this trainer. So here we have this, what I would say is kind of almost khaki green, and that's on that ice day there as well. But then there's this lovely dark kind of forest green um, along this kind of, I can't remember what this bit's called, um, on this panel around the trainer. It looks black, it's actually a kind of dark foresty green. And then we have a gum sole, and I'm a huge fan, and many of us are huge fans, of the gum sole. This pair are true to size, so I'm usually a UK 11 in Air Max 90s. I'm a 10 and a half in 97s, and I'm a 10 and a half in Air Max 1s, but in 90s, as recraft models, I prefer to go over 90. I, I did get them when they came out, the recrafts in a 10 and a half, and they were definitely too tight. So for me, I'm a half size up for Air Max 90s in the recraft model. That's not the same as everyone, but it's definitely the same for me. As you know on my channel, I try and buy a couple of pairs so I get good quality control. In all honesty, the quality control on these is excellent. They really are an excellent pair. A lot of people are talking about the amazing quality of this leather here in the brown. And I'm always reticent to talk about how great the quality is because I know Nike are very good, and other brands, are very good at hiding the quality, making it look premium, but actually it just being an everyday cut of leather but just kind of tumbled or given some kind of plastic coating to make it look really good. I've done a lot of watching of uh, um, 
Anvil, something Anvil, what's his name? But he cuts trainers and shoes in half and analyzes the quality of the leather. I don't know what he would say. I think it's Rose Anvil, Rose Anvil. And um, he kind of breaks down that actually a lot of the leather quality is not that great. I have noticed that there's kind of, he talks about looking at the, the cross section and this, this bit here does look like it is decent quality. It does have an ele element of being sort of tumbled. So I think it is a good, quality pair however these are 144 pounds and you know as well from my channel that i'm always looking for lower prices but i was able to get a 15 percent code so i got these for about 120 pounds i would have liked to have paid less but i'm happy i didn't pay full price for these i don't really think air max 90s really unless they're amazing are worth 150 pounds i'm so used to growing up paying all the way from 64.95 when they came out in Air Max 90 and I was in high school um, to kind of like the, the 84, 94, 110 when the Recraft came out 115. That was like three years ago. So I'm not a big fan of paying a lot of money um, for trainers that I perceive to be not worth that much because I don't think the production costs have gone up that much, but we're saying paying so much more. I'm always a kind of fight for the people kind of guy. I don't, don't want to get political, but lovely colorway this is a really good air max 90. Um, i bought a running club in green and i haven't worn them yet and as i said it's kind of one in one out so i might get rid of them um i also bought the kind of spotted gray pair so that might go as well but i'm definitely keeping these i think these are fantastic i don't really care about collecting whole packs i just really like earth tones as so many people do at the moment i love the browns and i think they did a really good job with this pair so Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for tuning into my channel. The subscribers are growing. I'm trying to hit 1K subscribers, believe it or not. I, ha I haven't hit 1K subscribers. I'm trying to produce on a regular basis. And I hope you're with me for the journey um, and you like trainers like I do. And if you do, please subscribe. Uh, hit that bell notification if you wanna see every time I drop videos. I'm doing shorts one a week at the moment. I'm doing my best to do that. So peace and love as always. Every single view is appreciated. I will see you on the next one.